بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والنجم إذا هوى ما ضل صاحبكم وما There was a long gap between the period between Anbiya والسلام, and when Rasulullah started inviting people to the oneness of Allah, he was talking to people they considered worshipping the idols to be the best religion of the world. And when they used to hear the name of Allah from Rasulullah although they claimed they believe in Allah, وَلَئِنْ سَأَلْتَهُمْ Quran says, وَلَئِنْ سَأَلْتَهُمْ مَنْ خَلَقَهُمْ لَيَقُولُنَّ اللَّهِ Ask them who created them. They would not say Allah, al this idol, that idol, because they know the birth date of these idols, they know the date of the fabrication of these idols, the, the date of the manufacturing of these idols, when it was manufactured, at what date it was built, it was made, who made it? That cannot be God. <laughs> Ask them who created them, they will say Allah. وَلَئِنْ سَأَلْتَهُمْ مَنْ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ لَيَقُولُنَّ اللَّهِ And the who created the heaven and the earth, they will say Allah. But when you talk to them about Allah, وَإِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ إِشْمَأَزَّتْ قُلُوبُ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ When you talk about Allah to these people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you see their hearts are getting very narrow. They don't feel good. They don't like this topic. They don't like to talk about Allah. Amazing, uh, if we just apply them 
to today's time. Who created this universe? Allah. Who created us? Allah. Let's sit and talk about Allah. I don't have time. There is a very important conference. Some very well-known people are coming to educate us about how to invest your money and guarantee you will make profit. When is it? Inshallah, we'll make time. وَإِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ if you just mention Allah's name, and you can try, make a flyer saying that we'll be talking about Quran, about Hadith, about Allah, about the Messenger of Allah, about Sahaba Ridwanullah, and look at the attendance and see how many people will attend. And other flyer, at the same time, we'll be talking about investment and business and how to be involved with our politics and how to be successful in this world and education of our children and building your future. How to find a house without interest and almost zero person and you will get houses very inexpensive. In fact, there will be vouchers over there for $10,000. Those $10,000 worth more than anything else. <coughs> it's the same situation. Just like that voucher of $10,000, these people used to consider their idol in the same place. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us. <coughs> that they always believed in Allah. Sometimes we think that those people didn't believe in Allah. Quran is telling us they believed in Allah, but they had other things that were more important to them than Allah there are, They had things in their life that were more important to them than the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When a person establishes his connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then there is nothing dearer to this person than his Rabb subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then this person loves everything that Allah loves. Sometimes you go with your children, with your loved ones to the restaurant and you ask them, what is it that you like to eat? No, you order. No, I eat whatever you will eat. This is our love for them. I will eat what you love to eat. Sometimes when we go for outing with our children, is it we are going for ourselves because I was bored? No, I want to take my children out. I had other commitments, I had other things to do, but for the sake of my children, I'm going to leave everything and go with them. This is my love for my children. How much should be the love for Rabbul Alameen subhanahu? وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَشَدُّ حُبًّا لِلَّهِ The people of Iman, they love Allah the most. Is our hub, our love, Ashad, is the greatest for, this, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The sign of it is that we love everything that Allah loves. And we hate what Allah hates. We give up, we stay away from everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. Now, Kitab Allah will be the greatest thing to us because this is Kitab of Allah. Buyut Allah will be dearer to us than our buyut. Allah's houses will be dearer than our own homes. The people of Allah will be dearer to us than our own people. And the highest category of the people of Allah are Anbiya alayhi wasalam. Then we have the Sahaba, Tabi'een, and the scholars of Islam, and the Salahat. There are people, there is a category of people, awliya Allah. They will be dearer to us than our soul. And this is why, at the very early stage of Islam, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to train Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he ordered him, Wadhurisma Rabbi. Remember, keep on remembering the name of your Lord. Wadhabatal ilayhi tabkila. And seclude yourself to him with full seclusion, which means have a time between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember, Allah made this deen very easy. Many of us, sometimes, a thought comes to us that I'm not a scholar, I'm not a religious person. We don't have a concept of a religious person. As we take our shahada, we all are the ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are the followers of our deen. There is nothing called religious and non-religious. We don't have those categories. We don't have a category of fundamentalists and non-fundamentalists. We all follow our deen. We follow all the rules of, the, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We follow the sunnahs of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's our deen. There are no categories there. We all are the people of deen. Never think, I'm not a pious person. I'm not a religious person. Or I cannot do it. I cannot get to that category. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made this deen such a simple, in such a simple way that it fits every person's life. Yes, we all consider ourselves to be sinners. And if a person who comes up here just because of certain luck, maybe because I'm following few more sunnahs than some others, and others may be following some other sunnah that I'm not following. If because of this, I consider myself to be better than other people over here, that simply means this is a sign of not understanding my deed. There is no room for any person to think I'm a more religious person than this person or that person. Regardless of what that person is doing. When that person has La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah in his heart, I have no right to consider myself to be better than that person. Only Allah knows. It's a fact, only Allah knows. We can never consider ourselves to be better. So we all are in the same category. Any person over here that feels, I have committed these crimes, I have committed these sins, and with all of those sins, and with all the things that I've been doing, I cannot be a good religious person, I cannot be a good Muslim, I cannot be close to Allah. Remember, that is our feeling also, and every person's feeling, and that should be our feeling. And with that feeling, we all need to understand that Allah is our Rabb, and is for all of us, equally. There is no distinction that if I'm like this, or my name is this, or I can stand over here, this person becomes better than others. There is no concept. So we all are in the same group. We are all in the same category when it comes to our deen. Our connection is directly with Rabbul Alameen subhanahu wa ta'ala. And always understand, this is, this is the point that sometimes we miss. That we need to realize that each and every one of us have a direct access to Rabbul Alameen subhanahu wa ta'ala and we all can be accepted within seconds by our Rabb subhanahu wa ta'ala to be of his close people. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith in Surah Al-Tirmidhi He recited the ayah, Sahaba are sitting with him and he recited the ayah, فَمَنْ يُرِدِ اللَّهُ أَنْ يَهْدِيَهُ يَشْرَحْ صَدْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ When Allah wants to guide someone, He opens His chest for Islam. This is from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, after reciting this ayah, He said, When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens the person's chest for Islam, النور إذا دخل الصدر انفسق The nur of Iman gets into the heart. The nur of Iman gets into the heart. And the hearts open up. Just like you go to a dark room and there is fear. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's there. And all of a sudden, you just turn the switch off. That's all. There was so much fear. 
and I want to leave. I can't stay. If you have your family members around you, with your children with you, they're scared, they're crying, they want to run out. I want to leave. And you just turn the switch off. And there's light throughout the hall. It's a beautiful hall. And you see nice chairs, food. Children are seeing some swings, some toys. And they all started running here and there and finding things they like. Only a minute ago, they wanted to run out of the hall and they were crying. And now, they don't want to leave the hall. This is when a person gets the hidayah of Iman. This is the hidayah of our Iman. That a person looks at it, no, oh, I don't think so, I'm scared. There is fear, always there is a fear of unknown. And ask yourself why. Is that turning the light switch easier or talking to Allah is easier? Is pleasing Allah and getting the mood of heart is easier or turning the lights of this hall by just turning that switch is easier? Which is easier? We all know. We all know. That that light is still you need to work for it to turn it off. And over here, it's just your intention, Ya Allah, I'm your servant, I'm back to you. And your nur, the heart is full of nur. And after that, when a person sees what's in this Iman for him, for his family, for his children, when children see that Iman, when we show them the true Iman, they don't want to go anywhere else. They will say, this is what it's like. This is that hope. This is the home that we came in. It's dark, but we need to turn the light off. We need to switch it on. That's all. This is how much it takes. As I said, that's more difficult. This is even easier to switch the light of Iman on in our hearts. Rasulullah said, As soon as Allah opens your heart for Iman, you see the moon. You feel comfortable. First sign of that moon is you feel comfortable. Sahaba Rizwanullah alayhi wa ma'in asked Ya Rasulullah, wa halli dhalika min alamatin ta'arak biha? Is there a sign by which we can recognize that I got some moon? What a beautiful moon. Is there a sign by which I can tell that Allah has opened my chest and now I have the moon of Iman in my heart? Which means I see, I'm seeing the reality of this hole. I'm seeing the reality of what's happening in here. If it is dark, I won't be able to see. Now I can see everything. Ya Rasulullah, when the person with that nur starts seeing things, what's the sign? How will he know that I can see what I'm seeing is real? Just think about it. How much we all Sahaba Ridwanullah for asking this beautiful question. And how much we owe Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for giving us this beautiful information. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, yes, there are three signs, not only one. Three signs. The first sign is, that the person stands feeling distant from the house of deception. Now you don't enjoy dunya as much as you think about your Rabb subhanahu wa ta'ala. At the al When a person sees the reality of the dunya, reality of the enjoyment of the dunya, realizes that this is all deception. The best enjoyment of the world comes with a lot of difficulties. With a lot of sacrifice and a lot of difficulties. Number two, and the person is inclined towards the house of the eternal living, where he is going to be, she is going to be forever. Which means the heart is inclined more towards Akra than, he, than it is to the dunya. And number three, and the person is prepared for his death before that time comes. Which means prepared all the time. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, if you see these three signs in you, thank Allah that he has put the nur of Iman in your heart. If you don't see them, work towards having these things so that you keep your distance from the dunya. Use it. 
Take it. <coughs> have it. But don't, just like Imam Ghazali, rahimahullah, used a beautiful example for it. He says, to run your boat, you need a water. So have a water. Make sure the water will be there in order for you to run your ship. But don't have a hole in the ship, which means don't let the water get into the ship, otherwise the ship will sink and you will die. Keep it there, that's fine. But don't enter it into the heart. And number three, the person is always ready. You know, old age. Sometimes people are scared of old age. You know what is old age? Old age is a sign, is a letter from Rabbul Alameen, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and several of you will be seeing this soon. How would you feel about that letter? Really? If a person would think about it that way, even a young one would say, Ya Allah, when would I get old? When would I get that message that I will see my Rabb soon? فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُوا لِقَاءَ رَبِّهِ فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا Whoever is looking forward to see his Rabb, keep on doing the good deeds until you reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq that we always look forward to meet our Rabb subhanahu wa ta'ala. That we enjoy our time in seclusion with our Rabb subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the first step. Have a time. Very important. If there is one message that we want to take from today's talk here, from today's jungle, have few minutes, few minutes between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Extremely, extremely important part of our life. Something you cannot survive without. Our iman will not be able to survive without. Few minutes at least, if not five, ten minutes, at least two, three minutes between you and Allah. Several times of people under the shed of the Arsh of Allah. One of them, Rajulun Dakar Allah Khaliyan, Fafadu Aina, a person who used to remember Allah in seclusion. One day there were tears in his eyes. Allah says, I will not let you stand under the heat of the sun and suffer on that day. You will be standing under my Arsh on the day of Yama. Time between you and Allah. This is the most important thing we need to establish in our life. May Allah give us the إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات سيجعل لهم الرحمن ودا فإنما يسرناه بلسان لتبشر به المتقين وتنذر به قوما لدا وقال الله جل وعلا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما بارك الله لكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعنا وإياكم بما فيه من الآيات والشريعة أستغفر الله لي ولكم وسائر المسلمين من كل شيء استغفروه من المسلمين. مولاي صل وسلم دائما